So for our hack this month, we are doing top versus side segmentation. Um, funny Garfield cartoon. And I'm going to, this is just a hack, so I'm not going to go into huge detail on the very specifics on how you can use this, but I'll go over a couple of ways and then give you the opportunity to dive into it yourself on your own time. So first, if you are saying, um, what is top versus side, the difference is going to be where the actual ads are showing up. So top placement ads are going to come up above the search engine results, and side placement ads are going to, surprise, come up in the side of the search engine results. Any questions? Lovely. So why is this important? Um, there are technically two number one ad positions. There's the number one, number one on top, and then there's the number four, number one over on the side. Um, both can be beneficial, and previously people were using ad position targeting um, and bidding to actual ad placements who got rid of that, and people are sort of saying this is the answer as to how you can still do that in a little bit of a, a more reportable way. Um, and the quote that sort of got the whole ball rolling is from Hal Varian, who's a chief economic, economist at Google, and he said, on average, ads that appear above the search results tend to get substantially more clicks than ads that appear on the right-hand side, and that is most true, and that's true in most situations, but not all. So, what does it do? Top versus side segmentation is just a new reporting segment, like I said, that's just become available as of July. So it's very new, and there's not a lot of research on very specific ways to use it, but it's pretty obvious as to how it can be used. Um, what it does is allows you to split your ad performance stats and determine, based on whatever metric you choose, if top or side ad placement is proving most effective. And this is what it looks like. So before, when you looked at your ad performance, all you saw were your averages, right? So your average position for this particular ad is 2.7. If you segment it out by top versus side segmentation, you'll see that that same ad, while it is appearing in position 2.7 on average, when it's appearing in the top position of 1.7, it's got lower CPC, higher click-through rate, etc. So it's just a more in-depth way of looking at the data than just assuming the average is legit. So how can you see this data? It's easy peasy. I don't know if anybody else's family uses that phrase, but um, you go to select the tab representing whatever level you want to look at, be it campaign, ad group, the actual ad text itself, or the keyword. You'll click segment um, in the toolbar right above your data table, then you'll select top versus side, and your results will appear below whichever category you've chosen. So you, I selected campaigns, click down on segment, select top versus side, and then the table changes from that to, oh, back, this. So it just expands everything and breaks it out at a more granular level. Um, are there any questions on how to get to that data? Now I'm going to go into actually how you might use it as opposed to where you get it. Cool? Awesome. No, I'm still going backwards. JK. So how can this help me? Um, like I said before, this is just a, a better way to compare performance on top versus side rather than just assuming what your average is is where you're appearing the most often. Um, the way I find it to be the most successful is it can help you sort of realign your bidding strategy. Um, as an example, that other ad was showing at a position 2.7, right? So if I say that I know I perform best at a position 1, Previously, I would have tried to bid that up so that I can start showing in position one. But then when I split it out, I can see that I am showing in position one and having a lot of success there and only occasionally showing on the side. And that's not really getting me any conversions anyway. So is that really helpful? And so this is just a, an exact representation of that. So with this particular keyword, vacation cabins, my average position is a 4.3. I know that I perform better when my keywords show up in the first three positions. So previously, I would have thought, all right, I'll bid this up, take another report later, check back and see if it changed. Now I can actually split it out and analyze separately top versus side and see if I'm getting conversions from one place and not the other. If based on my budget, it's better for me to bid to the side and just try to bid towards the top of the side. Um, but that's, that's basically it. So this just allows for more accurate report comparison rather than pulling a keyword um, report, like I said, and looking at it and assuming that your bidding is what was the difference. You can actually split it out and pull, the, pull those reports from two different time periods, both before you made the change and then after you made the change, and compare the two and see if your actual position changed because of your bid change. Um, so just some things to consider um, that I found while I was looking around. You can't just, this doesn't apply across the board to everybody. 
Um, you want to consider what metrics are important to you, obviously, and then also how heavily you are focusing on your branded terms. Branded terms typically will show up in the top positions anyway because they are branded that way. Um, so you want to make sure you're not looking at your branded terms the same way as you're looking at all the rest of your keywords. For budget, this could be a huge help in determining whether lower positions could be just as beneficial for cheaper. So if you break out your data and you find that you're getting an equal number of conversions on the side as you are on the top, med, you're getting those clicks on the side for cheaper, maybe a better idea to switch up your, your process. Um, what do you guys think? Are there any ideas that you guys have for how you can use top versus side segmentation on the spot? No? That's okay. Um, it's, like I said, it's, it's pretty new, so I really encourage everybody to get in and, and dive into their actual data and see what the difference is. Um, so, this is just a report I found online. This is one guy who took the time to pull all his data and see where his averages ranked as opposed to the actual segmented data. So this was an 18-month report that he pulled, um, and he did factor out all of his branded keywords. So this is just normal keyword data. Um, you can see it's Google search and then Google search partners, and then he's got top versus side and then top versus other. So all of the numbers in the table are in comparison with the average given for that keyword. So his average was a 4.3, and when he pulled down and segmented, his click-through rate for Google search on the top was 326% better than his average. And when he shows up on the side, it's 77% worse. So does that make sense to everyone? It's all just based off of the averages. But you can see there's a huge difference. I mean, you see your average for click-through rate and you assume you know where you are, but that's a huge gap in between those two. So um, that, the link for that entire article is listed there at the bottom. Sorry, you can't see that font very well. It looks way prettier on here. When he was doing this, was mm -hmm. it like position one side versus position one top? Or was um, it all top versus all sides? All side? top versus all sides. So um, he doesn't give his, he doesn't give it in that article either. Like my average position was this, and so my average position on top was this. He doesn't give that data, which makes it a little bit more difficult to analyze, I suppose. Yeah, I could, like, I guess I'm just thinking, like, it could be more valuable if you're the if you find your sweet spot to be like position 2.8 mm -hmm. to position 3.2 mm -hmm. or something or, or 3.5 mm -hmm. or something like that because you're right at the cusp of being right. top of four. Like, is top of side better than position three right. of top? Like, right. We don't know based on this data, but yeah. I think it would be more interesting to segment it like that mm -hmm. like based upon what are your averages are. Yeah, there's also um, a lot of the articles that I found online trying to figure out really in-depth ways to use this data um, said that there are a lot of things like that that are missing. And then there's all of the, yeah, I can dive in all day long, but there's not a way for me to bid based on yeah. top versus side. I can't say if I'm appearing in the top, you can bid me up X percentage. So the, the hope and the thought is that that's probably around the corner at some point if this proves successful for people and enough people are using it in that way. Um, so we'll just sort of keep our fingers crossed, I suppose. That was really quick. Do you guys have any questions? It, it's pretty straightforward. Do you perform better on top or on the side? Now you can dive in and really find out as opposed to having to do, you know, three months worth of experimentation to re-change your bids every month and find out where you were performing better. Thank <laughs> you.